University. So not really surprised that they have uh, a lot of uh, supporters coming with them in this ball game. Pero hindi naman magpapahuling San Juan. Uh, so also bringing their own set of uh, supporters with them. So stolen dito. Balik sa yung era for a two-on-one. Pass to Manzano. Gets that basket to go. And the fast break point para sa yung era. And that is how you execute a 201 fast break. Nablo, pinakagat yung primary defender in dropping it off at the perfect time. Well, Manzano, one of the reliable guys as well. 10.7 points, 9.7 rebounds. Yeah, naman talagang deadly combination ito para sa new era. Pulling up is Abdullah for his first two and the first two. Para sa San Juan, 6-2 now with 7 and 35 remaining in our first. Good decision right there for San Juan. No? Hindi pa makapukul ng 3 points. Inilapit ng konti. At ito, tuloy-tuloy ang kanilang kumpiyansa. Playing that passing lane very well and scoring in the open court. Kontra batang Kangkalu. We want to replicate that same start if you are itong si Igot. Beautiful pass from Nablo but an even better finish. Hanging in the air is Raister Ramos. You would see the cohesiveness na na-develop talaga nitong new era hunters. Ano, nagkakaamuya na lang yung kanilang mga players. Yeah, yung, uh, before the game even, no, as we see Rivera banking it off the glass, uh, hindi na nga sila masyadong nag-warm up, Coach Melo. No? We, we saw them maybe a good 5-10 uh, minutes before the game started. It, it's not any ordinary game for both teams. As TJ Abdullah picks the pocket of Vincent Nablo, able to finish out sa, uh, inside. Nablo once again, looking for this Manzano pick. Got seven to work with. Spins in the lane. His floater is good. And that is the mark of a great point guard after creating a turn turnover. In New Era right now, shifting to a 1 2 2 zone defense. Dahil nga zero out of three pa itong San Juan from beyond the arc. May Pero agad ba, sinagot <laughs> with a three pointer. And yan yung sinasabi natin. The game of adjustments. Especially at this level, na alam naman natin yung mga coaches natin are very good in making adjustments. So makaisa dalawang laro ka lang, alam na nila kung paano basahin yung tendencies mo. Skalilong on the floor now para sa San Juan. Missing on that three-pointer but right there to clean it up was Siena. And that is why the bench of New Era is frustrated with that offensive rebound because si Siena is one of the players that I'm very sure scouted nila yan. Kaya naman nagulat sila walang nag-box out on that time. And there are these types of players na talagang kala mo may magnet yung kamay pagdating sa bola. No? As we take a look at this, power rebound. Nobody <laughs> challenge that one. Nablo will pull up from three. Still unable to get that. High up for the rebound was Agayemi. He lost it and is converted for an end one opportunity from Portilla. New era. Nakuha na ni Agayami niya doon na kutsu. Totoo, yeah, you would see the frustration from the part of Agamemni. Para dito sa New Era, that's Ortilia not giving up on that play. Mawawala sa kanya ang bola and that will be the end of our first quarter. New Era trailing by four, 17 to 13 at the beginning of this game. After that 6-0 start niya, San Juan able to respond, building this four-point advantage. Goes to Reno. Sa gitna, will miss on that jumper. Nablo with the rebound again. Siya na magtatakbo dito. Trying to beat Abdullah. Sidestepping his way through. In traffic, gets the finish. Great finish mula dito kay Vincent Nablo. Using Abdullah as an additional screener para hindi maka-help itong si Agemeni. <laughs> he kicks it out to Nablo. Wide open for this three. Too strong. Jerry Rivera outlet to Yam Concepcion ahead of the pack. And that has been the game plan of San Juan. Run on every opportunity. Yan ang pinapakita nila dito. Basabika will try to attack. That won't go. Kalilong with the board. They have a two on three. Goes to Egot from the wing. Gets another three-pointer. That's his second three now. Double digits na si Egot at 10. And that is the same spot that he hit his first three-pointer. If you're new era, you really gotta check this guy. Especially in the open court. So look at once again that EGOT three-pointer. Nothing but the bottom of the net. San Juan will take this seven-point lead, 23-16 to 16, with the last two and 26. Galliardo, they go to Nablo, attacking once again. Floater is good. Ito na, medyo maalat to start itong si Nablo. Just six points so far para sa kanya. Make that eight rather. And they need more of that from their uh, marquee player. To the baseline is Nablo. Manzano driving to the hoop. Finger roll is good. 
And that time, hindi na nga nakaabot itong Segimeni. One dribble attack to the baseline mula kay Manzano. And with that length of his, that's all he needed to get to the basket. Go to the post. Rivera trying to bang his way through. Inside passing, turnover. Magawa ng new era. They could hold for the last shot. And I think Gallardo will do exactly that. Go to Katome. Stolen from behind. Agawa ng bola. New era will recover. Katome finds himself free underneath. Last two seconds. Yam Concepcion will try to track it down. As time will run out. Tatapos ang ating first half at a 25-22 scoreline. A three-point lead here enjoyed by the San Juan Kings. Tor Tortillas, Tortolias rather. Pagpapahingin muna si Nablo to begin this third. Open underneath. A miscommunication on defensive end para dito sa San Juan Kings. Nobody there to cover that baseline. 25-24. One point lead for San Juan. Rivera did discard. Go to Abdullah. Good for to shoot. Nice drop pass to Rivera. Gets an easy two. And that's the respect that we have for the new era hunters here at Abdullah. No? Three guys trying to cover him on that drive. But the problem is that he is really free. And that time around, that was a baseline cut. Naman, Rivera. Aliyup to Yam Concepcion. Not the highest of value plays, but effective para dito sa San Juan. And once again, proving us they are very deadly once they go to that open court action. Tignan the importance of that, pero tignan muna natin to. Itong uh, mini value play. Tumalun pa rin naman si Yam Concepcion. Almost another steal, and eto na nga, naagawa na naman. Abdullah takes it all the way. And new era hunters doesn't like what they're seeing. Mahapapatawag sila dito ng timeout because San Juan has created a 6-2 to two run. Ito nga, at the back of that, Abdullah layup. Extending their lead to 9, 33 to 24 with 6 and 46 remaining in our third. So a strong start para dito sa San Juan. Labio will miss on that three-pointer. Rebound battle, Labio recovers. Have another opportunity are the Hunters. Labio tries again. Works this time. First three-pointer pa lamang yan para sa new era. And that's a perfect example of focusing on the next play. Labio hindi nagpa-apekto dun sa kanyang unang mintis. New era will try to uh, trim this lead down. Hindi nila uh, uh, pwedeng hayaan. Makabitaw ng tuluyan itong San Juan. Nablo di discard. Eh. Pass underneath to Manzano. Power move from their big man. And if you're Vince Nablo, you may be struggling on offense, but it doesn't mean that you cannot involve your teammates. And yan ang ginawa niya dito. Creating like, uh, he's looking like creating a shot for himself with that spin move. Pero yun nga, inantay lang niya na mag-rotate yung defense. Kaya alam mo eh, ma pwede kang uh, maiwang bukas dahil yung defender nakatutok nga. Dito kay Vincent Nablo. It's Abdullah pulling up, rattles out. Tracking it down is Egot and finishes all the way. Another second chance opportunity para dito sa San Juan. They already have 10. Yung offensive rebounding nga dito ng uh, San Juan. Working wonders for them. Creating several opportunities. And uh, sa type of scoring na meron tayo dito, Melo, na napakababa ng field goal shooting, any opportunity na madagdag mo, makatira ka. Kukunin mo na. Another pass underneath to Manzano. So, Nablo and Manzano. Ah. Talagang uh, may napag-usapan na yata sila rito. And that is definitely deja vu para dito. Sa New Era Hunters, another spin move for Nablo. And finding once again Manzano, same spot. Igot to Rivera. Back to Igot. Parang two-man game on the outside. Still nine to shoot. Igot did discarte against Basabica. Sila lang nagpasaan dito. Rivera will try from outside. Won't go. Abdullah. Di na binaba. Four seconds. Driving to the hoop is Concepcion. Won't go. Manzano gets the rebound. Outlet to Montejo. Rivera trying to chase. That, that did not distract him. Still able to finish. Now just a seven-point lead. 42 to 35 with a minute and six remaining sa ating third quarter. 
Pero, ano, maagawan. Masabi ka. Coming up with a steal. Now just a five-point lead para dito sa San Juan. The defense now of New Era Hunters picking up as they try to close out this third quarter on a strong note. Pero ito may konting lambingan. Mm -hmm. Konting lambingan. Sabi ni Labio. <laughs> Pangalan pa lang naman ni Labio. Talagang may pagmamahal na. Montejo will receive it. Kicking out. Basabiga for three. Second three-pointer here for the New Era Hunters. Ito na sila. Tatlong puntos na lang. Ang lamang na San Juan. That is a big three-pointer mula dito kay Basabiga. Sabi nga natin kanina, they're looking to close out this third quarter on a strong note. So, Sari, no? ito, patuloy, no? kumakagat. Pati ang kanilang defense. Although they throw an errant pass there. Siam Concepcion. Goes to Abdullah. Five to shoot. Make that three now. Abdullah pulls up for three. And that will count. Ice in his, in his veins. As demonstrated by Abdullah. That basket will count. You look at that three play. He knew exactly how much time was remaining. Pulling up from three. Great challenge. But yun nga, ice in his veins. Extending this lead now, 46 to 40, para sa San Juan heading into the fourth. Lee, dahil dun nga naga threaten to uh, break this game open, itong San Juan, he started off, uh, I believe, 0 out of 13. But a couple of uh, three pointers from New Era, able to keep this game close. San Juan right now, 3 out of 17. New Era naman, 2 out of 19. Hindi ka magawan, si Abdullah from behind. Jerry Rivera, look at that pivot! Into the finish. Nice hanya si Manzano dun. What a move mula dito kay Rivera. Malapapa ber yung ginawa niyang post move that time. Up and under move. Maganda na yung block out dun ni Ramos, kay Agimeni. But the other guys forgetting other San Juan Kings players. Last four seconds in the shot clock. Abdullah once again. Knowing the time. Knowing the shot clock was winding down. Beat the buzzer no end of the third. Hitting another three-pointer. Yeah, as I always say, nine. you know, big-time players take big-time shots. Yun ang ang ibinitaw dito. Tatome naman, babawi sa kabila. Ayaw, ayaw lang din magpatalo talaga ng mga players dito. Top one po ang nakataya in this matchup as a three-pointer will be uh, sinked by itong si Katome. So Katome has been the magic bunot dito ha, para sa new era. Abdullah against Nablo. Using that Rivera pick. Driving to the lane. Scoops it up. And that's good. What a move mula dito kay Abdullah. Breaking down that defense of New Era and scoring with that right-handed layup. Ayan, kung magigising nga ang kanyang opensa na kinakailangan talaga itong New Era to complete this comeback. They were down by as much as 11. Are the Hunters? Drop pass to Mon uh, from Montejo to Manzano. What a play on the part of the new era. That was already a broken play for them. But Montejo able to manufacture that pass. Back to a one-possession ball game. 53-50. to 50. A minute and 10. Remaining in our fourth. They go to Rivera against Manzano. He will lose it. Ortilia comes up with a steal. To Montejo. Gets it to go. And Montejo making things happen. Para dito sa new Ira Hunters earlier, he made that assist. On that last defensive play, he was the one stripped that ball. And ngayon naman, tinapos yung kanyang defensa with this layup. Challenged by San Juan, but it was not enough. Montejo making an impact. One point na lamang para sa San Juan. Last 58 seconds sa ating fourth quarter. See what they've drawn up. Try to create some caution to protect this lead. Go to Abdullah once again. Had a great game so far. Shadi Discarte spinning in the lane. Goes to Agamenyi. His jumper is good. We talked about that jumper from Agamenyi. Pumasok when they needed it the most. But a quick response from New Era. Well, one of the few moments na naiwan sa transition defense itong uh, San Juan Kings. And New Era taking advantage of that, but what a time for Agameni to connect. 
And at, at this point, New Era would be needing a three-pointer already. Kaya naman na uh, talagang hinayaan ng San Juan, ano? yung interior pass na yun. But, tina natin, this is still mathematically possible. Granting that San Juan will miss the two free throws. Now, quick two, huh? courtesy of Katome. Off that timeout, cutting this lead to a four-point advantage na lamang. Pabalik muli ang inyong Pilipinas Super League. Pero in this type of ball game, very much needed. Needed It's a miss from the three-point area. We'll try once again. Is Montejo as time will run out, and the San Juan Kings will secure the top spot at the end of our elimination round, getting that twice to beat advantage. Mga New Era University. What a game by TJ Abdullah. Ang maganda nga doon, Abdullah taking charge when it matters the most. This ball game, both teams going to their strengths. It's just, it just so happened that San Juan was able to uh, make a run back in the third quarter. Na talaga namang naging uh, difference of this ball game. New Era Hunters was able to pound that ball in the paint, scoring 36 points compared to the 26 of San Juan. But San Juan just playing hustle basketball. 15 second chance points ang kanilang nakuha. 24 points off of turnovers. And look at this, 21 fast break points. And with our Daniel LaGuardia is our Calus PH Sportswear best player of the game, none other than TJ Abdullah.